What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Eddie Hearn, Daniel Dubois. Eddie Hearn has made up his mind, okay, on Daniel Dubois staying down against Usyk. And this is what he said. He said, probably an unpopular opinion. Daniel Dubois has to show more resilience when things get on top because the first knockdown, nothing much landed clean. And he tried not to bend the count, in my opinion. And the second knockdown, he definitely tried not to make the count. Granted, it was a stiff jab, but you've got to get up. When Usyk got up after three minutes on the floor, he had two and a half minutes in the round to stick it on him. Usyk's an, an exceptional fighter, and I felt like he would break Daniel mentally in the fight, and really, that's what happened. It wasn't that he beat him up. When Daniel said, I just lost momentum, that's a bad sign. But what I will tell you is Daniel Dubois is 25. I think he's got a fantastic future. If he can be stronger mentally, you've got to get up, especially in that situation. Those are the words of Eddie Hearn in regards to Daniel Dubois. And let me counterpunch. Um, I can't agree anymore. In fact, you, if anybody needs a pat on the back, it's Eddie Hearn for giving his synopsis and um, breakdown of Daniel Dubois, and it's not curved in a negative way. However, Eddie Hearn could have used this full opportunity. It was wide open, okay, to dig in to Daniel Dubois. At no point did he call him a, qu a quitter like a lot of people, like myself has, because that's what I see him doing. Now, and he did say, hey, he didn't make the count, you know what I mean? <laughs> or he tried not to make the count. But he didn't, he could have used it and he and he chose certain wording that wasn't negative, that didn't look like he was really digging in his ass. You know what I'm saying? I think he really, uh, you know, said certain things in respect for Daniel Dubois because he is 25. Because believe it or not, people, you know the old saying, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. That is a lie. Okay. Words from people and their opinions as they criticize you or critique you or however stench or smell, however you want to slice it and dice it, really counts. And then that shit will weigh on you hearing people talk about you in the negative. Negative words hold power as well as positive words. So, yeah, it's a good thing that you don't beat up Dan Daniel Dubois uh, too much. But the whole idea is you have to call a spade a spade too, because at any point you don't want to have him in denial though, because when he's in denial, he'll do the same thing and people uh, will, will, will say something to justify it and use any other reasoning. You don't do that. You, you, you own the shit, you, you, you admit it and that's it. Okay. And you want to do better. So Daniel, he quit. He said, he, he liked to say he did get up, but he got up on the 10th count. Most of the time, that's what you will get shot down for. You Referee doesn't hear that because the referee sees and observes that you didn't want to get up. And they see, and, and, you know, and I, again, he had to be contemplating in his mind what has recently happened and mentally he didn't want to deal with it. Okay, so, you know, he didn't really make such a fuss about, you know, them stopping it. Most guys like Haseen Rachman will shove you up, shove the referee off if he didn't want the fight really to be stopped. You know what I mean? That's, you know what I mean? No. You know, so he wasn't that disgusted about the refs waving that fight off because he knew he got up and he didn't get up in time. That's what you call a KO. Okay, so, uh, but again, uh, fair play to Eddie Hearn. You know, surprising again that... He did answer and 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 gave credit to Daniel Dubois and how he broke it down. He's 25 and he has a fantastic future. Now, the question you ask yourself, people, would Frank Warren or Bob Arum do that shit? And I can I, I can answer that question for you. Hell to the no, they wouldn't. That was Anthony Joshua. Frank Warren. Well, I just think Anthony Joshua is not the fighter. He he's not a he's not a complete fighter anyway. And I, I just think he's 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 just uh, totally overrated. And I think he just quit. Bob Arum. I told you Anthony Joshua was a bum fighter when Andy Ruiz put him on his ass four times. You know what I'm saying? So, no, 
you know, fair credit to Eddie Hearn, you know, for uh, professionally um, explaining it like that. You know, that was a good call. And again, I do agree. And it does, it, and Daniel does have to come with more. You know what I mean? He has to really figure out what he really wants to do at this point because maybe boxing isn't for him. You know what I'm saying? But then again, he is young. He does have a whole road ahead of him, hopefully. He has made some good money. He has a house and all that stuff. But the question is, has he saved any? Has he invested any? Has he done the things that's going to set him up? So if he does need to retire, can he retire successfully? That's the question you ask yourself about Daniel Dubois. You guys tell me what you think about Eddie Hearn's take on Daniel Dubois staying on the ground after the second knockdown. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched.